This is the threshold between your world and the realm of Meliora. If you are willing, a heroic adventure and shining victories await beyond this door. I hope that you are ready to take magic into your hands. Allow me to finally introduce myself. I am Aurelius, time traveler and master spellcaster. I would bow if I could. This is a pocket dimension. Whatever you do here has no impact on the world outside. Don't panic, you can leave whenever you want, but I'd appreciate a moment of your time. Touch this glyph and I will show you a basic spell, the fireball. Repeat the gesture and show me what you can do. It's one thing to cast a spell, quite another to hit a target. Try with those crystals. That was acceptable. Let's move on. Teleport to the next platform when you're ready. Try to teleport again. Now I'm going to show you a more powerful spell, the Frostbone. I believe you'll find it quite useful. The Frostbow comes with a quiver. Reach behind your shoulder and grip an arrow. Get your teleportation spell ready. Any respectable wizard can safely teleport without seeing exactly where they are going. Take as long as you need to practice, but remember we have times and places to be. Teleport once more. I have one last thing to show you. Now I need you to open the gates with telekinesis. Don't worry, magic is much stronger than muscles. Most of them, anyway. You are now in the Sanctum. Step inside and make yourself at home. It was built by another wizard a long time ago. You should fit right in.
Before you is a map of Meliora. The figurines represent the locations you will travel to. Pick one up and place it in the large slot. Now take the segment with gems on it. It will take you to the time and place of battle. Place it in the slot closer to you. What makes this realm special are these rifts. These openings lead into strange dimensions and allow raw magical energy to flow into our world. Do forgive me the lecture and please carry on if I'm boring you, but I personally find the topic fascinating. Only a true wizard can summon such energy by themselves, but many Meliorans specialize in using rift magic to create some incredibly useful enchanted objects. A blade only wounding the wielder's opponent is but the beginning of what can be achieved. Now, enter the goblins. Cunning, greedy, and ornery on the best of days. They have craved our weapons for ages, but the mere thought of paying fairly is repulsive to them. In the end, they always resort to force to obtain what they want. Their army of orcs has snuck into Meliora. Should they succeed, the invaders will easily overpower the realm and its guardians. It would be really nice of you to defeat them, otherwise the future will turn rather ugly very fast. You may not feel like you have big stakes in it, but I do find myself dreading the return of the grim reality I have worked hard to avert. We're a bit off. The time is right, but the place is not. You need to get into the ruins. It's a bit of a trek from here, but lucky for you, the platform lets you teleport. Oh look, that's a nice view of Pinewood. Wait, something's wrong. Nobody seems to be around. I wonder if the citizens went into hiding or something awful has already happened. guys what we're here for, would you? The circular apparition floating in front of you measures the likelihood of your success. The more of the circle remains gold, the better. When you run out, you have to try again from scratch.
These ruins are quite famous, but astonishingly little is known about them. There is a rift in one of the remaining towers, and my favorite theory about the history of this place is that it was a wizard king's palace that was abandoned after the rift opened. <laughs> The presence of these crystals worries me. They often form around corrupted rifts and are great for providing power for spells, but they're quite volatile. It takes great skill, or recklessness, to use them. Looks like you'll have to break through a wall to go further. What is that? My chaos, it's a dragon! Duck! Is it friendly? I think it's friendly. Or at least neutral. Dragons never cared much for the affairs of lesser beings. crystal is dangerous, even when it's not holding any spell. You should destroy it before it corrupts the Pinewood Rift. 